And this morning on Daybreak, we're taking a year-long Target Aid investigation one step further. We showed you how recalled items get resold in discount, dollar, and thrift stores. In fact, our Target Aid investigators found two recalled baby slings at Once Upon a Child, a children's resale shop in Walker. The Infantino sling riders were recalled three years ago after some babies died in them. But baby slings in general are all the rage right now, and there are slings that are not considered dangerous. So we want to take a look at that this morning. Joining us is Jennifer Hoekstra, Safe Kids Program Coordinator at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. Jennifer, you have a safe baby sling on. These are very popular. They are. They absolutely are. And it's all to a personal preference. You know, mm -hmm. if moms like to wear them, they're going to wear them. Sure. And we want to make sure moms wear them safely. Okay. Um, so it's very important that you take a look at the instructions that come with the sling that you get. Okay. Because all of them are very good at detailing how to make sure. But the most important thing with all the different slings that you mm -hmm. wear is to make sure that your baby's head is visible outside okay. of that sling. All right. It's very important that their head stays so you can see the baby and they can see you. The other really important piece that we're looking at is the shape of that baby's body. We don't want them curled so tightly that their chin comes to their chest. So it's very important. And also remembering, yes, it's wonderful to have your hands free, but it's still important that you're important, you're wearing the baby safely. You're making sure that you're not making sudden movements. Sure. That's going to cause the baby to tip out of the sling. So really knowing to wear it safely is important. Well, one of the things, I think one of the reasons that mom liked to wear these is because they're hands free then and they right. can do, but you don't want to be washing the dishes with super hot water that could splash on the baby. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It's very important to know your limits even though it does give you some freedom. And I have the sling here that was recalled, so you can see that how deep it is and how different it yeah. is. Okay. It really is very important just to know how to safely use the product and making sure that that baby's face is to the outside. It's important that babies are old enough to be in there. Sure. Um, you know, the, the recommendations by some of the researchers from the Consumer Product Safety Commission is that babies are four months old before okay. they start being read before they ride in a sling. So that's important to All right. Well, slings are not the only things that get recalled no. when it comes to babies and kids. Absolutely not. And that is one thing that I think a lot of parents are surprised by. If you look at the Consumer Product Safety Commission website, you'll notice that there's pajamas, there's sweatshirts, there's socks that are being recalled. And what I think is so cool as parents, we know there's people looking out for our kids. Yeah. We know that there's people yes. out there trying to find ways to keep our kids safe. So if you as a parent are able to, I would highly encourage you to go to the Consumer Product Safety Commission website, which is cpsc.gov. Okay. You can sign up for a subscription there in order to get email alerts about recalled products. Yes. And you can select the type of recalls you want to know about. So if you want to know about kids' recalls, sign up for the kids' recalls. And you'll get them at the end of the day so that you can be aware of those recalls. It's really kind of a cool site to go to. What, what do you do with your stuff at home? How do you know if you have something at home already that's been in the, in the process of being in your home if it's been recalled? Yeah, you bet. You can go to that same site. Okay. They've got some great pictures. They've got some great links. You can type in a specific item and they can pull up the information. You know, a lot of parents went through this with the crib recalls yes. a long mm -hmm. time ago and parents were looking for model numbers and serial numbers. You can type in model number, serial number, name of the crib, just crib in general and find that. Same thing with toys, socks, clothes. Okay. And I don't want parents to panic no. that they may have mm -hmm. items in their home that might not be safe. But as you're shopping for bargains, as you're going to some of these thrift stores, keeping yourself aware educated on these items so that you're not bringing unsafe products into the home. Jennifer Hoekstra, thank you for joining us this you're morning welcome. with this great information.